I live in New York on the west side, you know. Rough neighborhood, rough. I'll tell you, I live in the only neighborhood when I plan my budget, I allow for hold-up money. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, it's getting worse over there, you know? Like last week in front of my building, they put some new sidewalk in. I remember when I was a kid, just by hand printing a wet cement. I figured I'd do it again. I'll tell you, it's a weird feeling to put your hand in cement and you feel another hand. <laughs> what a neighborhood. What a first day I moved in, I asked a cop, I said, how long I walked to the subway? He said, I don't know, so far, no one ever made it. <laughs> I tell you, my neighborhood, everybody's tough, you know? Even the people in business, they think tough. When there's a bank on my block, in this bank, if you open a savings account, they give you a free carving knife and point out two victims. <laughs> I'll tell you, people, you, you live in my neighborhood after a while, Lord, you don't think straight, I mean it. Well, one night a guy stopped me, had a knife in his hand. I said to him, buddy, what do you want? Take my money, take my watch. He looked at me. He said, idiot, take me to a hospital. I got a knife in my hand. <laughs> no, it's a rough building, a rough building. I tell you, rather, nothing but Every night is robberies, robberies, forget about it. Nothing but robberies in my apartment building, you know? I mean, every time I close a window, I hit somebody's hands. <laughs> I'll tell you, where I live, uh, the first day I moved in, I should have moved out, you know? Hey, my neighbor told me, keep your front door closed. Don't open your front door till daylight. When daylight came, the front door was gone. Now, I'll tell you, I'm nice, I'm nice to hear you laugh, though. I'll tell you, that really is nice. Now, because where I live, there's no laughs, you know. I live in a bad neighborhood. Well, just last week, a guy pulled a knife on me. I could see it wasn't a real professional job. There was butter on it. <laughs> oh, I live, I live, you gotta watch yourself. I'll tell you the truth. I live in a tough neighborhood, tough, you know? Yeah, last week, a new guy moved in. He was showing off, he knew karate. He broke a brick with his hand. Then he broke his hand with a brick. <laughs> It's a rough neighborhood. I'll tell you where I live, nobody has respect for the law. Last week on my block, they raffled off a police car. <laughs> hey, with two cops still in it. <laughs> and the police station's right on my block. Even the cops are afraid. Only police station I know, the front door has a peephole in it. <laughs> hey, but I'll tell you, Dean, since I live in this neighborhood, I was attacked only once, just once, you know? It was a strange thing, the guy who attacked me, he had class. Yeah, he used an electric razor. <laughs> Actually, I blame myself. I was standing right next to an outlet. <laughs> oh, this guy looked crazy. He was really something. He took my watch, he took my wallet, and he took a little off the sides. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor, there's, there's nothing but killings over there. I went out, I bought a waterbed. There was a guy at the bottom of it. <laughs> oh, my neighbor was rough. Forget about it, will you? Well, my neighbor, they got signs all over. Drive fast, the life you save may be your own. <laughs> I told you before, it's a tough neighborhood. Even the people in business, they're tough. I can tell the way they advertise. Why, in my block, there's a funeral home. In this funeral home, if you want to have somebody's funeral there, they supply to death. <laughs> and the cops are tough, too. I saw one cop there fire three warning shots into the guy he was warning. Now, I'll tell you the truth, there's one thing in this country I can't figure out. I mean, the streets aren't safe, parks aren't safe, subways aren't safe, but under our arms, we have complete protection. 